Daniel Yelusinov versus Juan Hernan Lial. To those who didn't know, they recently fought over in Kazakhstan, the home country of Daniel Yelusinov. Fight went the distance, and Yelusinov won the fight by unanimous decision to become the IBO welterweight champion. Now, before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, Daniel Yelusinov, uh, I believe this is his first fight uh, without Eddie Hearn and Matchroom. He turned pro and he signed with Matchroom Boxing and he's been fighting in the UK, the US, and uh, he's no longer with them. And now here he is, you know fighting in his home country of Kazakhstan against Juan Hernan Lial and won by unanimous decision. All three judges had it in his favor, 120-105, 120-105, 120-106, all in favor of Yelusinov. Um, I honestly did not see the full fight, but based on what I saw of this fight, uh, I just saw clips of it here and there. Uh, it looked like it was a pretty one-sided fight in favor of Yelusinov. Yelusinov uh, also not was able to knock down uh, Lial, uh, I believe two times, at least two times in this fight. And um, yeah, it looked like it was a pretty one-sided fight based on what I've seen of it. And uh, with this win, Daniel Yelusinov, aka Kazakh Tanda, improves to 11-0. Six wins coming by way of Nakar TK. And I believe this is his first fight in his home country. Yeah, it is. Because, you know, under under Matrim, he was fighting in the States, here in the States, and in, in Europe. And uh, this... You know, he's actually fighting in his home country now, which he should be doing, in my opinion. I think, you know, him leaving Matchroom um, after the Julius Ndongo fight, which, by the way, was a very, very good win beating Julius Ndongo. Um, I guess him leaving Matchroom, I guess, makes him more focused on trying to, uh, I guess, make his name big in his, home, his own home country. I know he's very popular already in Kazakhstan, but, um, you know, how popular is he i'm not entirely sure but you know it'd be i guess just focus on increasing your hometown base and i think that's what you listen up did with this fight against Liao. Liao going into this fight honestly i had no idea who he is um yeah i, don't, I have no idea who he is going into this fight uh but oh he defeated chavez diego chavez back in august interesting wow but yeah, they fought for the IBO belt and uh, Liel got outclassed. I mean, for him to beat Chavez, actually, that's a pretty impressive win if you ask me. But that's an older Chavez, Diego Chavez. Um, but, you know, it seems like he totally got outclassed. So, anyway, Danny already loosened up. If you guys don't know, he's ranked number 14 by the IBF. Um, the IBO belt isn't really recognized, so nobody really considers that as a real belt. But... Uh, with this win, I'm sure he'll it will help him move up in the rankings. The Yale's ranked number 14 by the WBO, so it will definitely help him put a, him in a spot right here by the WBO. So, uh, so yeah, it's definitely a, a win that will help him, and uh, hopefully in the next couple of years he'll be in there in a big fight in a big name against one of the the top guys at 147 pounds. It's not an easy division to become a champion in with Crawford and Spence and Ugas being the champions in this division. But um, but I, I could definitely see you losing up if he keeps this up, if he keeps winning. I can definitely see him, uh, you know, fighting one day for a world title. And I'm pretty sure I've seen him fight live in person. Did he fight here in the MGM? Yeah, he did fight here at the MGM against Luis Norambuena. I remember watching that fight. I think I was there. So, anyway, if you saw the fight, let me know what did you think about it. Again, I didn't watch the whole entire fight. Don't have time right now to watch the whole 12 round fight. Uh, I'm tired, bro. I'm, I just came home from work. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.